Now inside of here, there's two things that are going to be happening. First is we, we need to send back our client the HTML that we want to replace this entire model with, okay, or the, the, mo the body of the model. And the second thing is we are going to send an email. So the best thing to do is to create a helper function. So let's say class method and def send email is going to be the, the, the function that actually sends the email. This, this function will, set, will take a couple of parameters. First, the, the email to which we need to send it. So this will be two, the user ID and the confirmation code. Okay. And for the time being, we'll just leave this blank. So here we can already implement this self.send email and we can pass in all the values. So this will be email or the two will be equal to email. User ID will be equal to user, user ID, because the key, remember, the key is here, user ID. And the confirmation code is also going to be user confirmation code. Okay. But in the meantime, let's send out a template to our model so that this entire HTML is changed. So how do we do this? Well, let's create a new template in inside of comments. We'll right click and create new HTML file and say register, call it register model success. Okay. We can delete all of this. And here we can essentially just, you know, create a div. So we will create a div of class text center because we want to align the, the text in the center. So this is the bootstrap because we're, we're going to be using bootstrap here. So this is the bootstrap class of aligning the text to the center. And we'll just open up a P tag. And the first thing I want to do is I want to show a big thumbs up for congratulating the user to signing in. So I'm going to create an icon. So I class FA, FA thumbs up. And I'm going to really make it really big. So I'll say FA 5X to make it five times as big. Okay. And the second paragraph will, will contain our text. So strong. I want to make it bold. So I'll say, please conf confirm your email by clicking the link we just sent you. Okay. Okay, so essentially we will be printing out this to the model. Okay, so let's go back and let's go ahead and extract this HTML. Now, we, we can't use the, the yum search request handler render method because the render would go ahead and actually send out the response and the response is not even formatted as an application JSON. So we cannot use this. Instead, we'll just need to type out the, you know, get the template and render it there and pass the HTML to our JSON response function, okay? So let's go back here and say HTML is equal to self.gingerenvironment.getTemplate. Now we need to pass in the template, which is going to be inside the commons folder, forward slash register modal underscore success .html. And now we need to render it and we don't need to pass in anything to this template because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have any, any variables in it. Okay. So this is our HTML. So now we can say that our JSON response is equal to HTML is going to be the key and the value is going to be our HTML. Okay. Okay. And, and before we can go ahead and test this out, we need to implement the success case in our JavaScript. Okay. So let's go ahead and implement this. And once we've done this, we will be able to test it.